Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's review because we're going to be talking about the new fragrance release from Juliet Has a Gun, Juliet. Quick moment for the bottle, love the red color. I don't know, I feel like we've been seeing a lot of really great releases from Juliet Has a Gun in the last year or so. Lust for Sun was beautiful, Ode to Dullness was really a love for me. And I'm not going to lie, I got really, really excited and enticed when I saw the notes of this because this fragrance is going to utilize one of my all-time favorite notes in all of perfumery cashmere it just dropped a few days ago and is now available over on twisted lily but let's go ahead and jump into this review so the inspiration behind this fragrance of course is going to be shakespeare's juliet and the type of woman that she would be in 2024 it's flirty it's seductive a symbol of untamed femininity power and passion and that's the whole reason of the red color of the bottle is of course red is the color of passion. So the note breakdown is pretty simple in here. We're going to have a sour cherry note with pink pepper, jasmine, cashmere, and tonka bean. How this fragrance opens. Ah, the wind is blowing this right back in my face, but I am not complaining about that. Mm, this opens very fruity. It actually doesn't open what you would expect based off of the notes. I don't know why when I hear these notes, I think of something that might be a little bit darker. This actually opens very vibrant and very fruity, a little fresh as well, but very fun and flirty. Juicy, juicy fruitiness in the opening, almost in a way that would like trick you into thinking of something like a green apple like a little bit of a sour green apple, but it's sour cherry. It's a very vibrant, bright, sour cherry. And you get these white florals from the beginning as well. There's jasmine, but honestly, I get something in this. This smells a little reminiscent of magnolia. There's something about this that kind of reminds me just a little bit of magnolia bliss. Like I get something that smells like magnolia, which I'm not complaining about either. I love that, but you get these white florals absolutely nothing indolic about it they're very clean fresh florals and as well you're going to get something that kind of feels almost like a clean linen and at the same exact time there's something about this scent that feels very sparkling a little fizzy coming from that black pepper but it also could trick you into thinking of something a little boozy but don't take that too literally because it doesn't really smell like straight up booze it, to me it almost comes off as like a cherry wine like a can or a jar of like maraschino cherries like macerating in that juice you know what i'm saying am i painting a good picture for you guys <laughs> i have no idea but this one does definitely start to change as it dries down into the mid that kind of fruitiness it doesn't really dissipate it still sticks around but it's not going to be as bright as it is in the opening. You're gonna get more of the jasmine in the flowers. Once again, not indolic whatsoever, very clean. And you're also gonna get more of an emphasized feel of that clean linen, almost kind of like fresh satin sheets. Like I think it's something to do with the cashmere. I believe this also has ambroxan as well, which makes a lot of sense because you do get a touch of this kind of like molecule-esque feel kind of adds like an airiness to it and also what that is going to do is this transforms on your skin it's not really fair for me to be doing a review just on this strip because this fragrance blooms on the skin just absolutely comes to life on the skin and really embodies everything that is inspiring the scent that sensuality that flirtiness that untamed femininity that kind of like wild child energy. It's really gorgeous. The, the cherry just comes to life on your skin and there's something a little more exotic feeling here too. It's sweet, it's very enjoyable. It's not going to be too dark, but I love the cashmere and you get more of this kind of cashmere feel on the skin as well. Really every note in this is amplified on the skin. Cashmere just adds this really luxe, very smooth element to the scent that is really addicting. Like anytime that they put cashmere in a fragrance, it automatically is going to smell very luxurious and very high end. It's just gonna add this oomph to the fragrance. It's just this little extra touch of something 
very luxe feeling, a little extra special feeling about it. The only gripe that I have with this scent is that I actually wish that they had amped up the cashmere a little bit more. There definitely is cashmere in here, but it's not as dominant as I was hoping that it would be. I really wish they would have just pumped it up a little bit more and had even more of this kind of luxe cashmere feel. But that's really my only gripe. Everything else about it is absolutely gorgeous. I love the cherry. I love the pepper. I love that kind of like cherry wine feel. I swear there's something that smells a little bit like magnolia in here that I also really like. I think that if they had added more cashmere, it would have even bumped up that sensuality feel as well. It's not the main accord like I wish it was, but it's definitely a great supporting note in Juliet. This is going to be a very easy to wear scent, perfect for the spring and summer, day or nighttime. It's going to work either way. Just keep in mind when you're testing this one that you need to try it on your skin. You're gonna be so surprised at how different it smells on the skin versus on the strip. Really just comes to life on the skin in a very sensual, sexy, fun way. In terms of the performance, I've gotten a solid five pushing six hours each time I've worn this with a softer to moderate projection. I feel like the performance is okay. Juliet has a gun is not really how it is known for like beast mode types of scents anyway. So just know that going into it, it's going to be a little bit softer, but the quality is here and something a little bit different in the cherry world, especially in Sephora. Make sure to spray it on your skin and you can pick up a sample of this over on Twisted Lily and you can use my code Erica10 for 10% off and you can also purchase a full-size bottle there for a discount. Really fun, I love this. There's so many facets to it. That cherry wine feel, even something a little tropical feeling about it as well because of that magnolia flower that I get in here. I'm not sure if it's actually in here or not, but I get something a little bit of a tropical floral feel, which is also very common in Juliet Has a Gun fragrances. It's a DNA that I really, really enjoy. This is definitely a great release for me, and I'm very excited to keep this in my rotation this spring and summer. So guys, that was just my quick first impression review of the new fragrance from Juliet Has a Gun, Juliet. I think it's very fun, very playful. I love the cashmere. I love the sour tart cherry. It's a very fun scent, definitely one that you need to check out. You can get a sample over on Twisted Lily, or you can try it in Sephora as well but definitely I would recommend purchasing it on Twisted Lily because you can get it for a discount. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below if you're interested in trying the new Juliet Has a Gun. I would love to know your thoughts. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.